This video is a tutorial on how to use the Vertcoin one click miner. It is pretty simple to do but there are some prerequisites which we'll go through in this video. First of all you want to make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date. So the link for both the AMD and Nvidia drivers will be in the description. They both have automatic detection and installation tools which makes it really simple. There are some limitations on which graphics cards you can run. The main one being it has to have 2GB of free RAM or higher and uh, for the AMD GPUs they have to have GCN 1.0 or later and Nvidia GPUs have to have compute capability 3.0 or later. If this sounds kind of foreign to you, most likely it will work. Any of the recent cards should have more than 2GB of VRAM and the architecture should be much newer than the ones here. If you are confused, there are Wikipedia pages where you can check the architecture. So if it says Terascale, it won't work. If it's GCN, it will. And also if it's RDNA, if I scroll down, find one. And if it's RDNA, it will also work. And for the NVIDIA page, they have their own page. If you scroll down, go to GeForce and Titan products, you can check the compute capability of your exact card. You do have to be a bit careful because sometimes even with the exact same card, they have different compute capabilities. So GT730, for example, is 3.5, but the DDR3 version is 2.1, which won't work. And even in the same generation, so the GT630 is 2.1, and if we look at the GT650, it's 3.0. So this will work and the GT630 won't work. Before you download the one-click miner, a good thing to do is to create a folder. You can make this folder wherever you want, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do it in the downloads folder, which is C users followed by your username and then downloads. So I'm gonna right click, hit new and then new folder. and I'm just gonna call it OCM. Once that's done, we can head on over to Windows security to add an exclusion so it doesn't incorrectly flag it as malware. So if we go over to Windows security, then virus and threat protection and then virus and threat protection settings and then manage settings. Scroll down to exclusions and we'll add the folder that we just created. So the OCM folder in the downloads folder. So the path is the same as before and then OCM and we'll just select that folder. Just as an example of what happens if we don't add the exclusion, sometimes when you go to download the file, Windows Defender will automatically get rid of it uh, because of it being coin mining software which sometimes uh, other programs include in the background without people realizing but in this case we know it's a coin miner so now we can go ahead and install the one click miner so if we hit download vertcoin one click miner on the vertcoin.org homepage then github latest release scroll down a bit and go to the latest pre-release and then hit assets and then windows x64.zip and we don't want the debug version so we'll download this into the OCM folder we created earlier and then we'll just hit save and then we'll go over to the OCM folder and extract that file. So just click on the file then at the top extract all and then click extract and the folder should show up in the same folder as the file is in. So if we enter that folder and double click on Vertcoin OCM sometimes even then Windows still blocks it from running so if you hit more info and then run anyway, you'll be able to uh, run the one click miner. The first time you open it, you'll have to set a password. So make sure something that you'll remember and also something that is secure. Once you hit start mining, it will check if your GPU is compatible and then it will create a vert hash data file. And it is actually creating this vert hash data file and not downloading it. So it may take several minutes depending on your CPU and some of your other PC specs. Once that's done, it will start mining straight away and you'll be able to see your spendable balance as well as how much you're expected to earn. Once you've been mining for a little while and your spendable balance gets to 0.1 vert coins, you should be able to send your coins and you can send this to wherever you want. It could be an exchange or another wallet that you use. Um, so if you just paste in a receiving address, so I'm just going to generate one in Vertcoin Core. I'm going to hit receive and then uh, make the label OCM just so I know what I'm using it for. I'm just going to create the new receiving address. So you can just copy and paste that address or any other Vertcoin address into the send coin section and type in your wallet password that you set at the beginning and you'll be able to send the Vertcoins to that address. 
So if you hit view transaction, it will take you to the Vertcoin Insight Block Explorer on your default browser and you can see the transactions details. For example, here you can see that it sent 0.1 VTC to the address that we chose and it has a fee of 0.00019 Vertcoin, which results in the final address receiving 0.09981 Vertcoin. If you have any questions or any issues, you can head on over to the Vertcoin Discord channel. It's really easy to join because the link is literally just the word Vertcoin. Make sure to read and follow the rules. And once you've done that, you can head on over to the mining and one click channel where you can ask your questions there.